We always look forward to the Calgary Stampede, and the Calgary Stampede has crowned their new royalty, these three ladies about to embark on a whirlwind year of appearances. And happy to be joined this morning by Maggie Short, who's the 2016 Stampede Queen, and also we have Bailey in the middle and Chelsea on the end, our new princesses, and excited that they've joined us to start their reign. Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. This is brand new. This happened last night, and you already have outfits. Yeah, yeah they had them <laughs> waiting for us. Yeah. That, is really <laughs> that is really exciting. Uh, so this is an exciting year for you, and it starts today, essentially. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the process and what it was like going through the application to become a Stampede Queen. So it's a month-long tryout process. I personally knew um, the previous princess, Haley Peckham, mm -hmm. and so I went and met with her for coffee and asked her about her experience, and she just really encouraged me to try out, said it was an amazing experience. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And why did you want to be a part of the royalty team, Bailey? I think growing up in Calgary, it's something every little girl dreams about. And just to be a part of the tradition of the Calgary Stampede is an absolute honor, and I'm really excited to be here. Okay, now you have to have a pretty comprehensive list of qualifications in order to make the cut. So uh, tell us a little bit about your background and why you think that you were the perfect fit to be a princess. Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> um, I grew up riding, um, mm -hmm. mostly show jumping, actually. Um, so this is a little bit different for me, but it's been exciting getting back into the swing of things. Um, I'm taking my Bachelor of Social Work at the University of Calgary right now, so I'm really used to working with a lot of people, so that's kind of helped along the way as well. Good for you. And used to working with horses, too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which, which is the case for all of you. So how strong of a rider do you have to be to be a part of uh, the queens and princesses? Well, it's definitely a very important aspect. It shows up in all three before um, the, each cuts that they make. Mm -hmm. And uh, I personally have a riding background of 10 years. I'm sure these girls have both ridden quite a bit in their life as well. It's very important. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Now, what is your commitment? Obviously, the Stampede is the bulk of the appearances. But for the rest of the year, how will you guys represent the Calgary Stampede? They've got us going to CFR in Edmonton, Excellent. and we're going to Grey Cup in Winnipeg. They let us know last night, so that's really exciting. And there's community events year-round, so we'll be attending things throughout the year. We're a full 12 months here for you. A full 12 months. I think we lost a mic back there. No problem whatsoever. These are the things that get thrown at you when you're a Stampede Queen and Princess. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about what you're most looking forward to when it comes to representing the Calgary Stampede. Oh, I think the Calgary Stampede, the week itself, um, it's going to be a huge honor to stand on the stage and represent Western Heritage in Calgary, the city itself. That's going to be a huge deal for us. Okay, now here's the most hard-hitting question of the morning. Are those crowns heavy? Oh my goodness, yes. Are they? So, heavy. <laughs> it's so how does it work? It attaches to the hat? It's it's a band that goes all the way around yeah. and it just yeah. kind of like sucks it <laughs> in. So. It kind of weighs the hat down, it's so you know it's is. not going to fall it's off on your horse. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, I couldn't ask, I couldn't let you guys go without asking about the crown. The crown is very exciting, and in terms of the wardrobe too, that's pretty extensive. So, mm -hmm. uh, do you guys? have your wardrobe already or how does that work? We just have a couple outfits right now but we're actually going to get measured today for uh, all of the rest of the custom outfits and stuff so very exciting. So this is going to be quite a juggling act with your everyday life and and to take this on as well so how do you manage to find the balance Bailey? Well I think all of us have really understanding employers and a very supportive family and friend network and it's a year of our lives and we're willing to basically give our heart and souls to the Stampede and do everything we can for the organization and we'll catch up on everything else afterwards. Okay, excellent. Well, congratulations to all of you. I'm Thank sure you. we'll see you many, many times before the Calgary Stampede and uh, looking forward to having you three represent our city very well. I maybe want to try a hat on. We'll see if they'll let me. Dave? <laughs>